this is a retreat for the electoral umpire and the use of technology in our elections. And the INEC chairman, Professor Mamu Yakubu, is brainstorming with officials of the commission. The chairman of the Electoral Operations and Logistics Committee speaks on some of the innovations that the commission hope to deploy in future elections. The second one I want to talk about quickly is the uh, INEC Logistics Management uh, System. Uh, this is designed to be an end-to-end -end, uh, uh, system that includes that runs from procurement of election materials all the way to uh, deployment and retrieval. The final one I would like to talk about is the one the Commission recently approved, and that is what we are calling the INEC Alert, uh, sorry, INEC Security Alert uh, uh, and Notification System, INEC SANS. Since 2015, when INEC first introduced the Count Reader Machine, the Commission has continued to push for the use of technology to enhance the integrity of elections. Some of these innovations include the deployment of a logistics tracking system during the Edo and Ondo State governorship elections, the use of ZPART for electronic transmission of results, and the new security tracking system that it hopes to deploy in the November election in Anambra State. The one that is uh, new and innovative that we are deploying in Anambra is the security app. Um, in view of what happened recently with our facilities in a number of places around the country. So in others, you may have different tools, but they all work towards achieving one and the same goal. There are some activities, some aspects of technology that we have deployed that the laws are already adequate uh, for us to continue to deploy these tools. We don't need any specific provision of laws, for instance, to deploy the EMSC. We don't need any specific provision of the law to keep deepening the use of technology for voter registration, for instance, which we are doing. Elections are perhaps one of the legitimate means of leadership recruitment in any democracy, hence the need to strengthen the integrity of the electoral process.